so now we will uh, see the uh, varying interest uh, interest rate uh, problems uh, see the uh, questions uh, question given here uh, the question says that find the ma find the compound interest on rupees 800 for three years if interest uh, is payable half yearly the rate for the first two years is seven percent per annum and for the third year it is eight percent per annum so you see here uh, three years uh, are given and uh, two uh, rates uh, of interest uh, uh, have been given uh, first is seven percent for the first two years and eight percent for the last uh, third year so such type of problems uh, are called uh, varying interest rate problem so in this case uh, there are two methods that we can use to solve uh, this type of problem uh, first uh, is a long uh, method in this method what we do uh, we solve uh, in this way for example p is uh, 8000 uh, rupees it is uh, 8000 rupees and uh, t is 2 years uh, we will uh, firstly take only 2 years because we are going to solve for the first 2 years and the rate percent is 7 percent so 7 percent is uh, 0 0.07 since uh, it is uh, 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 the frequency of uh, compounding here is half yearly this means we have to convert this annual rate of interest uh, into uh, semi annual interest rate so now it becomes uh, 0 0.035 so this is the formula for compound interest we write the values uh, P is 8000 one uh, rate percent we have already calculated that it is uh, uh, 0 0.035 so we add this uh, uh, percent to uh, 1 so it becomes 1.035 so since uh, T is uh, 2 and uh, the frequency of compounding is 2 this means we have to uh, multiply this T that is 2 uh, by 2 so it gives 4 so now it is this uh, now the t is 4 2 into 2 is 4 so now we will solve this so firstly we have to solve this part and then after taking the uh, factor we will multiply uh, that by uh, 8000 so what is the uh, value it is one point 035 raised to the power 4 so what is the factor factor is 1.1475 so I have written here 1.1475 this is the factor and now I multiply uh, it by uh, 8000 so 8000 rupees so it will give me uh, 9180 rupees so what is the amount for the uh, first two years it is 9180 uh, and this one uh, 9180 will become the principal for the next years but here is only uh, here we have only one year so for the next year only so for the next year it is uh, being said that uh, for the third year it is uh, 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 I write 9% uh, 9, 9 per annum so for 9% so we, we will uh, convert into decimal it will become uh, 0 0.09 since uh, it is half yearly that's, uh, that's why I have to divide it by 2 in order to convert uh, the annual interest rate into uh, semi annual interest rate so this is uh, 0 0.045 so now I add it to 1 so this is the uh, this thing I have to solve so 1.045 raised to the power 2 though it is uh, t is only one year, year third year that is one year but uh, the frequency is 2 uh, the com the frequency of compound is 2 that's a one year is being multiplied by 2 
so it, it would become 2 here again we have to solve means 1.045 raised to the power 2 uh, it would give 1.092025 so this is the uh, factor I have uh, calculated so after finding it out uh, I would multiply the uh, principal now the principal is not 8000 it is this one 9180 uh, that has come uh, after two years so uh, 9000 uh, 180 uh, will be multi multiplied by the factor it would give a uh, 10,000 rupees 10,024.79 so I have written this thing here but what is being asked it is being asked that find the compound interest so we know that CI CI is uh, CI is equal to uh, CI uh, is equal to we know that ci is equal to mm, here ci is equal to uh, a minus p means amount uh, minus uh, p so we have to find out ci uh, we have to subtract p from the amount so here when we subtract a minus p a is uh, a is uh, 10024.79 and p is 8000 here so what is the answer i get it is 2024 so this is the uh, answer this is the answer for this question so this was a long method so I uh, told you that uh, uh, these problems are called uh, a varying interest rate problem so there is a shortcut also for this type of problem so you see here this is the shortcut method so what I have done that I have written the P here so this is P 8000 is P uh, multiplied by the uh, interest rate that is being charged for the uh, for the first period so what is the what is the interest rate it is 7 percent annual but uh, 0 0.035 semi annual so this is the uh, method to get the factor for the first year interest factor so I have uh, written this 1.035 uh, for uh, raised to the power 4 and now for the second term it is 1.045 raised to the power 2 so I have I have again uh, written them together I'm not solving uh, them each of them singly uh, I am just uh, solving them uh, together so I have written here I have calculated uh, this uh, as I had already calculated means uh, 1.035 uh, uh, raised to the power uh, 4 and so this is the factor I have got so 1.1475 1 uh, this is the factor here and then for this also what we do that 1.045 uh, as we had done uh, in the previous slide so raised to the power 2 so what I have taken we, uh, we have taken 1.0920 so uh, if we uh, multiply means uh, 1.029 multiplied by one point uh, multiplied by one point uh, one four seven five and then uh, again we multiplied by uh, eight thousand so now eight thousand so this is eight thousand and the answer is the same you see the answer is the same in all the cases whether we use shortcut method we write them we write all the uh, uh, things together and we get the same answer as we get when we solve them for each term so you see uh, the answer is same uh, 10024.79 and it's 10024.79 so in each case we are getting the same answer uh, second thing that is very important that uh, the uh, conversion period uh, 
uh, might change in the next term for example uh, instead of uh, uh, semi annual we might be having uh, quarterly uh, quarterly uh, frequency means the conversion period is 4 so it doesn't matter you use uh, 4 uh, 12 whatever uh, but you have to change the we uh, you have to convert the annual interest rate into uh, that frequency and even then in that case you can solve and write them together you can write them together and solve so uh, it does not change the method you can use shortcut method uh, as well in this case even if the uh, frequency is uh, changed uh, in the next term for example here are two terms uh, might be uh, it might be uh, 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 written uh, here uh, that uh, in the third year uh, it is a nine percent per annum uh, uh, payable uh, or the conversion uh, compounded uh, quarterly so compounded quarterly so here in the second term it is quarterly in the first term it is half yearly so but the only thing that you have to do is to change the uh, frequency in the next term if it is quarterly that's it so uh, nothing uh, very difficult here so I think uh, uh, you have understood uh, how to solve the problems on varying interest rate uh, varying interest means the interest rate change uh, for the uh, different terms even if the total first the total is given and then different different terms are given for for example it is uh, uh, four years for first two years it is seven percent for uh, next third year it is nine percent per annum uh, quarterly and then uh, and then uh, ten percent uh, ten percent mm, per annum but but uh, uh, it is compound it is being compounded uh, uh, monthly for example uh, it is being compounded monthly so uh, in all cases uh, you can uh, do this you can use this formula so it is uh, quite common in the uh, problem of uh, compound interest so uh, compounded uh, monthly compounded per annum 10 percent compounded monthly so it doesn't matter so for each term you have to change only one thing that is the you have to change the annual percent and also the uh, uh, t for example if it is uh, four times in a year then you have to change four times yeah. this now this is four the only thing that you have to uh, the on the you have to change only two things the uh, rate of interest and the r and t t in years so i think uh, i have made it clear uh, totally uh, what is the uh, problem of uh, uh, varying interest rate so uh, that's it